Hi guys, welcome to Size World of Koi. Uh, hope you're having a great day on this Friday afternoon. Thank God it's the weekend. It's been a really long week this week. Don't know why. Um, uh, I suppose a lot of you all uh, getting yourselves prepared for winter, pond-wise. Um, I know I am, but it's quite slow progress at the moment. Anyhow, in my last video, um, which I hope you liked, um, I mentioned the overflow on my skimmer. So uh, I've gone out to the ironmongers and I picked up a few bits here, um, which I'm going to use to put in the skimmer. And instead of uh, diverting it into the drains, I've come up with a different idea. My skimmer, which I'll show you in a bit, is off the back end of my pond uh, and it's near the flower beds. So I did say it was uh, to help nature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of running it down the drains, I'm just going to literally run the pipe along the back of the plants. If it decides to pour down the rain and pee down and it overflows, it's going to go and water the plants. Brucey bonus. So yeah, that's uh, that's the plan anyway. That's the plan, Stan. Um, I'll just give the Nexus a, a, a clean, and or I'll give it a double clean actually. I filled it up, cleaned it, filled it, drained it off again, just so that it dropped the level below the uh, below the skimmer line. Uh, so if I show you here, so. There's my skimmer in there, and I'm literally gonna, gonna drill a hole in here so that the pipe runs down along, along the back here and walks the plants. Yes, anyway, um, I bought one length of overflow, I've bought a um, tank connector which is this bit here. Should have come with an elbow on it, but uh, he had sold out of those. So I've got um, an elbow, I'm gonna put a bit of pipe in there and then just connect salt and weld an elbow on. One thing I have found in the garage, which is really handy, are these. Okay, so with this, this connector, it's just got a standard flat washer. And I'm thinking, the skimmer has got, has got a curve to it. It's the wide mouth skimmer. This one by Cockney Coy. Um, yeah, so what I was thinking, I can drill that hole, put that on top over the, uh, over the pipe, and let's just put you down a minute. So I'll show you what I mean. So yeah, put that. So that it sits like that and that will clamp round it's quite thick rubber i think it's from kitchen um so, you know some kitchen uh, bits that i had left over um so yeah i think if i do that that's going to clamp around the uh the skimmer it might give me a little bit more um protection from it leaking possibly leaking i'll probably run a bead of uh of uh, Arbor Seal or you know CT1 or whatever I've got if I've got any uh, put that around it but yeah um, anyway I'm going to drill the side of the skimmer 22 mil uh, for the the diameter of the pipe with this drill bit and uh, then uh, yeah see how see how I go from there anyway catch up with you in a bit see you later. Right guys, um, I've got everything together, all my bits and tools. Um, now I am going to, moment of truth, drill into the side of the uh, skimmer. Well, wish me luck, here he goes.
So that's all the uh, holes drilled. Uh, can you see them? All the way down. So that just water the plants. So uh, it's in. I'm going to paint it at some point or spray it, but it's going down the back there. And here's what I've done. So I know I haven't got much room here because of the uh, lid, but I'll, uh, I can adjust that. Um, but yeah, hopefully that will seal. Put some elastic around it. Yeah, so uh, anyway. Let's put the lid back on and um, we'll uh, we'll give it a go. We'll fill it back up and see where we go from here. Anyway, um, yeah, hope you like this video. Um, if you do, uh, please subscribe. Appreciate those that have done it already. New new to this, uh, this is a new channel, so uh, you know, I'd like to get me subscribers up. But if you like it, give me a thumbs up and uh, yeah. Uh, hit the not notification bell. Thanks very much.